Welcome to our practice today, which is zoomed from the bed. And you will need a scarf or something you can stretch around your toes when your legs extended. So a, a TheraBand, a strap or a scarf. Cushions, of course. And for the final Shavasana, something nice to keep you warm as you lie still for the last 10 minutes of the practice. So today we're going to be getting into our hips with some nice juicy dragons and breathe out the fire. If you've been feeling, it's been eclipse season here, so lots of shadows and triggers bringing emotions to the surface. Perhaps it's got a bit stuck in the body, so we're going to encourage it all to purge out with some nice fire breath and then finish with some beautiful twists to tap into our calming, rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system. So let's begin by activating our belly breathing. So make sure that you're sitting comfortably and your shoulders aren't up by your ears. So I like to put a cushion under my tailbone and then do a few shoulder rolls just to loosen up. So you might want to breathe in through the nose, bring your shoulders up to your ears and breathe out as you come down. And another one. And check in with your jaw. You might want to give it a bit of a massage, a bit of a wiggle or a yawn. Loosen and soften around the throat. Place your hand on your belly. And as you breathe in through the nose, see if your belly can move out into your hand. And as you breathe out through your mouth, feel your belly coming back towards your spine. So if you're familiar with that ocean breath, you can hear the breath going down the throat and feel into the sound of the ocean as you're doing this breath. You might want to close your eyes as we do 10 breaths together. you breathe out releasing your hands giving your fingers a wiggle and just noticing how you feel before you open your eyes just perhaps focusing on that place between your eyebrows You might want to set an intention for your practice. So this is usually a statement that takes your life in a positive direction. So it might be, I am love, or I am creating my best life. Just set an intention and repeat it with conviction three times silently in your mind's eye. Uh, 
And when you're ready, slowly blinking your eyes open. We'll begin with a nice self-care pose. So bring your arms out and then cross your right arm over your left. Give yourself a hug and let your right ear come towards your right shoulder and just feel that self-care. Getting a nice stretch and also giving yourself a hug. Mm, can you soften a little bit more? How does it feel to really hug yourself? Do you practice enough self-care? Does this feel good or does it feel weird? <laughs> Bring your head up as you breathe in and over to the other shoulder with the left ear. As you breathe out, notice any tightness. See if you can soften a little bit. <sighs> Breathing in as the head comes back to centre. Breathing out, open the arms and we'll take them the other way. So the left arm's over the right. Again, giving yourself a hug, breathing in. And this time letting your right ear again go to the right shoulder. Ah, softening. Maybe smiling at yourself. Mm, you could even make a nice yummy sound here. Mm. Breathing in, head comes up. Breathing out, over to the other side again. Seeing if you can let go as you breathe out. Really feel that self-care, that love for yourself. Maybe make another nice mmm sound. Mm. Mm. Next time you breathe in, letting your head come back to center. Breathe out, take the arm down by your side. We'll take some little side stretches here. So keep your right hand beside you and bring the left arm up and over. You might want to look up if that feels good on your neck, in front or down. Flow with your own breath. So come up as you breathe in and over as you breathe out. Next time you come to your right, pause there and maybe sink a little bit lower. Maybe your elbow comes down to the floor or the bed. Check in with your neck. Maybe change where you're looking. When you're ready, flow up and over to the other side. And again, just come a little bit lower if it's available. If not, keep it high. Remember that wherever you are is perfect. As long as you're feeling something, you're doing in yoga. <laughs> and if you feel any sharp pain, that's a signal from your body to calm up and change your position. So let's bring our feet out and get a little stretch into our ankles before we do our dragon. So taking some nice circles with your feet, really taking your mind into your feet. Hello feet. <laughs> Sometimes we don't give them much attention. We're just a little head or a big head floating through our day. We forget about our feet. So give them a nice rotation in both directions. See if you can do some brain circles with both feet circling in. If they don't 
do what your brain says. Just laugh at yourself. <laughs> ah, and outward circles. Pointing and flexing. <sighs> Let's give our feet a little bit of love in the butterfly pose. So bring your soles of your feet together and massage from the big toe along the ridge of your foot to get your thumbs and really do some nice, gentle massaging all the way down to your heels and up again. Give your big toe a squeeze. This relates to our brain in reflexology. <laughs> and according to Chinese medicine, the ridge of our foot is like our spine. Mm. And if it's available to you, you might want to wrap your hands around your feet and take a little forward butterfly pose. So perhaps this is enough, or perhaps you're holding on up here, or you might be able to gently let your elbows come in front of your knees and let your head dangle. So to get into the pose nicely, you might have to take a few breaths. So you might breathe in, look up. And as you breathe out, just allow yourself to bend from the hips and then curl your spine with the top of your head moving towards your feet, just as far as you feel that first aha. Warming up into our hips here as well. Let's take 10 breaths, breathing into the back of our ribs, expanding into the space behind you as you breathe in. As you breathe out, seeing if you can just let go into that space. Relax your face for the last three breaths. <sighs> and when you come out with your next in breath, move very slowly. So that your shoulders and then your neck and head comes back up. Ah, and then help your knees really gently. Let's bring them back together. You might want to lean on your hands and just do a little windshield wiper before we come onto our knees. I like to call this the Marilyn Monroe pose. <laughs> Come over onto your knees when you're ready for a few cat cows before our dragons. So if you're on a bed, just make sure you feel supported enough with your knees and your hands. Allow your belly to come down, head to look forward, breathing into the cow, and then arch into the spine like a cat, first thing in the morning, stretching. You don't have to be stiff with your movement, do whatever feels good here. So you might bring a bit of sideways movement, you might want to bring a little bit of rocking movement. 
you might want to shake your head, nod yes, shake no. You might want to circle your head. Let your cat cow dance and be yours, whatever you want to do here. If you're rocking, that warms up into your wrist. If you're circling, that gives your lower back a bit of a stretch. If you want to come into a child pose for a while, you can let your bottom come all the way towards your heels and outstretch your hands and put your forehead down. So this is quite an active child pose. Or this morning or whenever you're doing this practice, you might want to do more of a supported child pose. And you can layer lots of pillows and come onto one cheek if that feels better. So choose your favorite child pose. And then allow your whole front of the body to be forward and relax down and your tailbone to sink towards your heels with every breath out. If your head is to one side, turn and do the other side. And again, relax the shoulders, the face. Breathing into the back of the body and as you breathe out, relaxing the sacral area, the pelvis towards your feet. And getting yourself as comfortable as possible. Like you could even just dribble your face is that relaxed. good thing about practicing at home is if you dribble on your pillow it's fine <laughs> sometimes if you get so relaxed in a class and you dribble on the bolsters it's not too good but when you're ready slowly come back up remove the cushion and we'll come into our first dragon so I'm going to face you just to show you the legs get my pillows out of the way so start on all so the same position you were in for cat cow and then let your right foot just kind of walk its way this is the lazy in way to do it <laughs> to the front and start with it in between your hands and you're kind of in a lunge so you can just warm up into your lunge by coming forward maybe sitting back a little bit letting the toes come up and then rocking just to see how that feels in your hips here. They can be quite strong. So you are going to choose your intensity with dragon. So 
say, if it feels all right, come forward and maybe you can even bring your hands up to your waist. If you want to keep it low, keep it low. If you've got blocks, you could put them here. Feel the fire building as you're in this posture. You might really feel the stretch from the left inner leg into the lower back. You might need padding under your knees. We're going to do fire breath with our tongue out. If you want to add arms up, you can, or keep them low. Breathing in and out with your tongue. <sighs> Anything you need to get rid of. <sighs> we'll do three more. Imagine you're a dragon and all the fires coming out as you breathe out. One more. Oh, it feels good to release all that tension. Then bring your hands back down inside your knee so that your right leg's on the outside of your right hand. And if you want to experiment with opening the wing of your dragon, you can let the knee move away from your body and the inside of your foot leave the ground and come up bit like a chicken wing. See how that feels. If that's too much, just keep it back here. Otherwise, feel into the winged dragon for a few breaths. Very intense pose, so listen to your body. You might want to move, you might want to be still. Just five more breaths here. <sighs> We'll take it into a sleeping dragon now. So bring your wing back in. You might want to walk your foot a bit further apart. And if it's available, you could come onto your elbows and sleepy dragon head down. The other option is to have your cushions here so that you can bring your torso down but have it supported. So you might just want to support your forehead or you might want to support your whole torso. Relax the top of the body and five breaths in sleeping dragon. Choosing your comfortable modification. As comfortable as it can be when you're really getting into the hips and the psoas muscles. Three more breaths. Thinking about coming up when you're ready or staying for a few more breaths if that's comfortable by bringing your weight back into your hands and walking your foot back behind you taking whatever movement you need to take here. So you might just need to sway. You might need to just come back into a child pose again before we do the other side. So I'm going to turn to the side now, but stay where you are in your cat-cow position. And then this time, bring your left leg to the front in between the hands to begin with. And just start by rocking into your lunge. So coming forward, maybe you need to scoot that back leg further back. Just find that nice angle. If your knee's coming too far over your toes, you probably need to make the angle a bit bigger so that your knee only really comes over the ankle. And then find your dragon. So you might want to keep it low. You might want to bring your hands to your hips. You might want to extend your arms up and really sink down. And the fire breath, really feeling that fire that you need to release 
breathing in through the nose and out with an open mouth and tongue. Four more. Purge it out. down, taking them inside your leg so that your left foot and knee is outside your left hand. And if you want to open the wing, letting your left knee come away from your body and the side inside of your left foot come off the ground and just feeling that openness. If it feels okay, any sharp pain, bring it back. It was just a sensation of stretching then enjoy that get right into that joint breathe five breaths here Bringing your wing back in and coming into sleeping dragon, either with cushions or without. And enjoying relaxing the top part of the body, shoulders, but still sinking into the hips. Five breaths. Staying here for a few more breaths if it feels good. We're starting to think about moving out by bringing the weight back into your hands and walking yourself back up and taking the foot back and taking a few releases into the hips before we come to lie on our back with our strap in our hand or our skull. So when you're ready, get your scarf, there's mine. Come to lie on your back. And begin by bringing your knees into your chest and just giving yourself a nice hug. Oh, feels good. That dragon was intense. Just think of all that tension that floated away. And now we're going to gather in beautiful peace and calm. Draw it into our body. Take a nice breath in. Ah. Ah. Bringing in that love, that self-care, that acceptance of who we are. Then release your legs down, keep your knees bent. Take your scarf and place it over your ball, just under the ball, but above that instep of your right foot. And take your arms so that your shoulders stay on the ground, so you're not up like this. The top of your body's nice, relaxed. Hold wherever it feels good to hold into the strap. And let your toes move towards your nose and the sole of your foot point up. So you activate the back of the leg. If it feels good, you might slide the left leg away so that it's straight, but you don't have to. If you have lower back injuries or it doesn't feel that nice, keep a bend in your knee. 
And every time you breathe in, see if you can lengthen your leg up towards the ceiling or the sky. And as you breathe out, perhaps your toes move closer to your nose or your knees move closer towards your chest. Or your, you've only got one knee, your knee. <laughs> Five more breaths here. Perhaps your legs just moving a millimeter closer towards your head. Taking the strap in your right hand, so you're holding both sides of the strap with your right hand. Let your left arm come out beside you, palm down to support you. And the next time you breathe out, allow your right leg to open to the side. So it might not go all the way to the ground. You can pop a pillow or something under wherever you feel you want to stop or you might just let gravity slowly open you up. So try to keep your hips on the ground, your shoulders on the ground. Breathe in and as you breathe out, allow that opening. With the next in breath gently you might need to bend your knee bring your leg back to center remove the strap and just let your legs be stretched out next to each other and just notice how the sides feel maybe there's a difference between the side that you just opened and the side that you haven't worked yet notice any changes in length temperature, spaciousness. And then taking your left leg. So you might want to bend both knees while you position the strap around your left toes or just beneath them. Again, seeing if we can angle the sole of the foot towards the ceiling, toes towards your face. You might want to slide the other leg away. Notice how this leg feels. Is it different to the other one? Let's give it a nice stretch along the whole back of the leg, behind the knee hamstring all the way down into the hip. 
Breathing in, extending that leg up. Breathing out, keeping your shoulders relaxed on the ground. Perhaps the leg moves towards your chest or your face, just a fraction. Keep a bend in your knees if you want to. We'll play with straightening the leg. Five more breaths here. Perhaps your leg moves just a millimetre closer with every breath out. Taking the strap in your left hand and extending the right arm out away from you, palm down. As you breathe out, open that left leg to the side and wherever it lands. You might want to put a cushion underneath it or just allow gravity to open it up. Taking 10 more breaths here. Slowly bringing that leg back to center. Releasing the strap, sliding that leg out to meet the other one. Just laying here like a star. Legs, arms relaxed, noticing now how both sides compare. Maybe there's a bit more symmetry now. Take five breaths into your belly again, popping it up to the ceiling or the sky as you breathe in. Breathing out, releasing, surrendering into the earth, feeling cradled and supported. Wiggling your fingers, your toes, 
sliding your feet along the floor. Coming into the closed book twist here. So if you have a cushion or a pillow, place it between your knees so that your feet and shins are supported by the cushion. And then roll onto your right side so that your arms are on top of each other. If you need something under your head, you can place it there. But we're going to open up so it's nice just to have your shoulders and head on the ground. Begin by just gently massaging the top hand up towards your elbow crease and then back down towards your palm. Give your hand a little massage here, a little bit of self-care. Massage around the wrist and up towards your elbow. Massage back down towards your hand. Give it another squeeze. Massage where the fingers connect to your palm. A little bit of self-touch. Getting all that beautiful oxytocin flowing. And the next time you come up, massage across your chest and collarbone. And open and extend the left arm out to the left. And then let your head, if it's comfortable, look up to the ceiling or over towards your outstretched left hand. So if your arm's up high, you can again put some support under your elbow or hand or arm. Or if it's coming low to the ground or the bed, you can try to relax the shoulders down with every breath out. Check where your knees are. Do you need to have them closer to your chest or further away? How does it feel on your back? You've come into a twist here. So take a moment to travel down your spine, starting at the crown of your head, traveling down the neck. Notice how your neck feels, your upper back wherever you feel any tightness. Pause there and with the breath, fill that place with spaciousness. Talk to your body, just say let go. Breathe into the ribs and the lungs that are more towards the ceiling. As you breathe out, relax the shoulders. Travel further down your spine, down towards your lower back, and where your spine meets your pelvis, wherever there's tightness again, breathe into that place, breathe out with a sense of ease and letting go. Soften your face and your throat. Five more breaths here. ready to come to the other side we're going to close the book first so letting that outstretched left arm come back over 
towards your knees so that your left hand's on your left knee, right hand on right knee. We're going to slowly open the legs like a little clamshell and roll onto our back and then over to the other side so that you're now on your left side. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me but you stay comfortably on your left side there. And again, we will start with the closed book. So just massaging the bottom hand with the top hand. Massaging the forearm, rubbing all the way up to the elbow crease and then back down, getting your thumb into those places where your fingers attach to your palm. Doing little circles around the palm and then massaging up the arm again to the elbow crease. When you're ready, massaging all the way across your collarbones and chest and outstretching the right arm, checking where you want your knees, whether you need any support under your arm, letting your head turn to look at your right hand or just at the ceiling. And again, take that journey down your spine for the next 10 breaths wherever you feel tightness breathe into those places they let go Starting to think about closing the book, letting the head come back to center and that right arm come all the way over. Right hand on the right knee, left hand on the left knee. Slowly opening yourself like a clamshell onto your back. And here we're going to take ourselves into our final resting pose. So you might want to place a pillow under your knee. You might want to take a blanket and place it over you, maybe another pillow under your head. It's very important to spend time completely letting go and assimilating all of those beautiful movements. They so come into your comfortable Shavasana, it's called. Make sure you're warm and I'll just talk you through a little release of the body and a short meditation into your heart. 
So taking your mind into your right toes, squeeze all of your right toes together. And then release the big toe, middle toe, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe. Relax the sole of the foot, right ankle, right calf, right knee, right thigh, until the whole right leg is relaxed. Squeeze the toes of your left foot. And then release the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and baby toe. Relax the sole of the left foot left ankle, calf, knee, thigh, to the whole left leg is relaxed. Squeeze your bottom tight, 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 and relax the left and right buttocks until both buttocks are soft, relaxed. Relax the belly, all the organs of the abdomen. Bringing your mind into your right hand, squeeze like you're making a fist with your fingers. Squeeze, lift the arm just a little bit, tight, 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 and relax. Let the arm drop down. Let the fingers be open, relaxing the right thumb. Point to finger middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Relaxing the palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, right armpit, right shoulder. So the whole right arm is relaxed. Now make a fist with your left hand. Squeeze and lift the arm, hold it there, and release. Let all the fingers and thumb be relaxed. Left thumb is relaxing, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger, left palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, armpit, left shoulder until the left arm is relaxed. Take a moment, relax the throat, travel up to your jaw and your face, relaxing all the muscles underneath your eyes, above your eyes, forehead, all the tiny muscles of your scalp, back of the head, above your ears, behind your ears, and underneath your ears, so your whole head and face is relaxed. Take your awareness into your heart, and bring into your heart a feeling of gratitude. Remember an experience that made you feel truly grateful and thankful. Where are you? What were you doing? Who were you with? What can you see? What can you feel? Breathe that gratitude into your heart. Put yourself back in that memory. the colors, the sounds.
imagine that feeling of gratitude is a color or a sensation spreading from your heart all the way down to your toes, radiating out to your fingertips, radiating up to the crown of your head. Let a smile come onto your face, a little smile, smiling sweetly now at your heart. And then that smile is coming to a 50% of your full smile. You're starting to feel it in your cheeks. And now that smile is becoming a 75% smile, starting to feel the corners of your eyes coming into it. And now a full smile, yes, really feel that smile. Activating all those hormones, anti-aging and anti-stress. And letting that smile come back to 75%. And 50%. And 25%. And now completely relaxing for the next few breaths.
slowly bringing your awareness back into your body, starting to become aware of the sounds around you, the floor or the bed underneath your body, the blankets above you, on you, deepening the breath in through your nose and out the mouth. Beginning to wiggle the fingers, bring gentle movement into your toes. Starting to stretch the arms like you're waking up from a nice deep sleep. Maybe bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself another big dose of self-love. When you're ready, roll into your side and just take a moment feeling cradled here by Mother Earth and tune into your intention that you set at the start of the class. Repeat it again three times to yourself. When you're ready, slowly coming back up to a seated position. We'll finish the class with a few breaths into our heart. So you might want to sit on your cushion again and just keep your gaze inward, your eyes closed. Bring your hands in front of your heart into prayer or just resting on your heart. Take a nice breath in. As you breathe out, bow to your own heart, your center, your home. Send yourself love and gratitude. Take another breath into this heart space. And as you breathe out, imagine the love from your heart is extending out from your room, your home, to each and every person joining this practice now or in the future. Send them love, send them gratitude. Taking another breath into your heart space. This time, as you breathe out, let that love and gratitude flow from your home, around your town, across the nation, across the whole planet, and into the universe. We are all connected. We are all one. Breathing in and as you breathe out, releasing your hands down onto your knees and slowly blinking your eyes open. The light in me, see the beautiful light in you. Namaste.